Ooh, why I need their man. levels. So wow. instead, go a little bit greedier for the Enigma, and IG are going to look to match them with what looks to be a June. A June Doom? A June Doom. A June Doom. A June Doom. Do you think he's jungle? Apparently our producer got excited about that. I, <laughs> I, w what's I if it jungles, what's going to be like a double off lane Visage? Is that what we're looking at? Mm. That's no, I don't think he jungles. I think he starts off lane. Yeah. Maybe they give the lane yeah. to a support, and June goes to the woods at some point. That sounds, that sounds think, more reasonable. I think the reason they think they can get away is to that when there's an Enigma jungle, he'll be... Oh, the duel lane he's playing against is awful for Doom, though. Yeah. Venge Quap will keep him level 1, I think. He can't even go off lane. So, maybe that's not what they do. I mean, the other option is to send, like, a dual lane puck plus 1 there. Yeah. yeah. Remember seconds, the days when Enigma was first seconds, pick and then people would count it? They picked the counters first and then finished with Enigma. How things have changed. Five, this six, is, five, yeah, this is uh, a lot of lockdown for Enigma. But, he's not going to beat the jungle. So, a lot, as he has most games. Um, won't be supporting him too much uh, in lane Artesian. Well, with that said, looks yes. like the game's ready. The game's ready, and we are not going to cast that. For that, we have the amazing Gods and Merlini, who are going to take us away to this game one of IG versus Secret. Gods, Merlini, hello, and good luck. Thank you, Bruno. Welcome to the opening best of three series of the Dota 2 Asia Championships. It's Secret versus IG. I'm Gods, joining me is Merlini. How are you doing? Hey, how's it going? Pretty interesting draft from both of these teams. I think IG has actually one of the best targeted drafts against Secret that I've seen this entire tournament. Yeah, uh, I think they were well prepared. Happy to give up the Shadow Fiend of Arteezy, but planning the Lycan as an opening pick, getting the Visage to go with it. We're going to introduce some drafts here to get things underway here. Team Secret going to be playing on that Radiant side, and well, we'll see what they have in store for us here. It's going to be Puppy on the Enigma as we go to a camera shot. I'm not sure where we're going here. <laughs> How are you doing, by the way? Hello. Oh, I'm, doing well, I'm doing well this fine evening. Yeah. <clears throat> it's exciting. We're finally into the main event. Almost $3 million in prize money up for grabs here. And IG have something sneaky planned here. They smoke down the bottom lane here. It's going to be Luo playing the Lycan. June on the Doom. Ferrari 430 on the Puck. Lion going to be playing in the back lines. And then finally, you've got the Doombringer being played by June. And they're going to run right into this jungle, running directly into Team Secret. And S4 is going to be the one they run into. The smoke is going to get dispelled. And S4 does not have... Well, there's not going to get Hex here. He's out of range, and Chizbug can't actually catch up to him. So, early smoke rotation, looking for that fa fast pickoff, but couldn't quite find it from IG. But they do get some wards down. They are going to look to block out the Enigma's jungle here. I think they have to block more than those two camps, though. I've seen uh, Puppy's Enigma work in these two Radiant camps, and he he, he still hits level 6 around 515, 530. Yeah. Um, so, the economic impact is actually not really there. It, uh, it of course, will help, uh, hurt Kiro a little bit if you can't pull, uh, but at the same time, he's a vengeful spirit, and the level's not quite as important to him. Alrighty, well, uh, we'll see. They block off his big camp and the medium camp, so he doesn't have the two camps close to each other, which is, I guess, an important thing. And the one more camp. Yeah, okay, so three camps blocked out. IG, as far as lanes go, I mean, they mentioned Doom going to struggle to get much out of this offlane against Avenge Queen of Pain lane. Are they going to look to run dual lanes, put the Doom in the jungle? What's going to be like the plan for IG Doom here? will get owned in the off lane. I don't think he can go there. He yeah. will either need some assistance or he will need to just uh, straight go to the jungle. It is a very difficult lane. I think even 1v1 versus Quap is uh, very difficult with eventual spirit threat there uh, and no like ward around in that immediate area. Aside from blocking the jungle, it is far too difficult for him to stay in lane. Yeah. <laughs> Level 1, he's just like, screw it, I'm going straight jungle. Two heroes jungling! Luo on the Lycan is jungling. Jude on the Doom is jungling. They're giving the safe lane to the Lion and the Visage. Something IG did back in like some of the previous tournaments like iLeague where they would run Luo on this Lycan and have him just jungle. They'd give Chuan a safe lane to farm or and in this case that's exactly the case. He's on the Visage getting farm in this lane and they're running dual junglers. They're abandoning the off lane. This is something completely new out of IG. It's pretty cool. I think they can get away with it. The clockwork is, I mean, he's okay at contesting, but not that wonderful. Uh, I actually didn't like the clockwork pick that much, um, just because of Lycanthrope Wolves. I think that's actually one of the main reasons why clockwork was just so unpopular, was because of the popularity of Lycan, and if y you can, like, block the hook shots, you can always scout out the clockwork, and if you can't get a good initiate, he's not that great of a hero if he can't uh, get in there, and IG spent a lot of their bands, three out of their five, targeting uh, Zai, so I, I would say less than ideal hero 
choice for secrets. Oh, later. bottom lane. June's been caught out here. He's finally decided to leave the jungle. Come bottom. He's going to be forced to pop the Scorch Earth, get out of this lane. Just a level one vent who has wave of terror. So not a whole lot he can do as far as getting out of the lane. Meanwhile, top lane. A lot of harass coming out onto Zai, but similar case. They can zone out the off lane to some extent, but they're not getting any kills just yet. Lua will deny himself to neutrals and just kind of get that efficiency going in the jungle as he even buys a last GG branch before dying. So overall, so looks like Team Secret with the gold and XP advantage. Enigma with that uh, smaller camp dewarded. Looks like he is doing just fine and dandy. Yeah, Enigma's going to be able to probably farm better than the, the dire junglers. Enigma just being known for that. But uh, as far as uh, whose lineup do you feel is going to like look to get aggressive? Because IG running these kind of two greedy junglers, are they going to look to try and punish this by getting Enigma like early ganks and rotations happening, or are they just happy to keep on farming? I think it's more about Roshan control than, than getting aggressive. Both of these teams have very good Roshan lineups. Like can solo it, Secret can easily do it with just Enigma and Shadow Fiend and Wave of Terror in the mix. Uh, not even necessary uh, for them. So, I mean, both of these teams, I, I think they're more, more than happy to farm and probably too risky of a play uh, for them to make any huge tower moves early in concern of Roshan. Okay. Well, as far as the mid lane goes, Ferrari and Arteezy trading CS to some extent. 11-4 and four in the Puck to the 13-4 of Arteezy Shadowfiend. Puck obviously helped out a bit by, I believe, the Lycan as a point in how. Maybe not actually going for that because he's jungle here. Arteezy tanking tower hits. That is not cost-effective harass coming out from your Shadow Fiend, but he does have the full bottle charges and should be reasonably okay in the middle lane. This is not an easy matchup for Puck. Like, at, at some point, he's going to have just so many souls that Puck can't really do that much about it. And he has not that great kill potential, especially not solo. Uh, but, of course, once he hits level 6, maybe if Lion or Visage comes in, should be okay for him. But I guess that's generally how matchups go over Shadow Fiend. 1 through 3, 1 through 4 is like mediocre, and yeah. then after that it is just downhill. And especially when the Lycan actually hasn't gone for any points in the Howl, so that makes the the Puck's life a bit harder. I saw the Lycan, I'm like, okay, they got Howl for the Familiars, they're going to have Howl for the Puck in his lane, but Ferrari has not gotten that support at all. So the support may come from, like, when he hits level 6, we'll see, the, we'll see either the Lion or the Visage rotate off that top lane, so... Top rune going to spawn, Arteezy gets the bounty rune, the Lycan Wolf attempting a deny there, but unsuccessful, and the lanes will continue here. No first blood just yet, no rotations really out of the ordinary, as uh, Doom has shown up but once again at the bottom lane. Doom is level four and a half. This Doom is Trenkle Boots, 500 gold. June's getting a lot of good farm here as uh, what would normally be an off lane where he struggles. It was smart for him to go into the jungle first and get a creep. It's, it's far too dangerous for him to uh, go try and get a creep early. And actually, there weren't even any big camps for him to have access to. So good play from yep. him. You can definitely see the trade-off, though. Just looking at the hero levels, it's three secret heroes already level five. Meanwhile, it's just the puck. June going to get jumped to the bottom lane. Shadow Strike, Scream after the wave, taking a lot of damage here. Has the Scorched Earth, though, and that's going to keep him alive just barely. He knew the limits of his hero, and Secret gets some good harass off there, but at the end of the day, they wanted that kill, they wanted that first blood. Rocket Flare coming in, June will survive it though. Very long-range Rocket Flare, almost getting the kill there from Zai. Just a level 1 Rocket though. If he had level 2, level 3, that would have been a kill. Oof, those Tranquil Boots. Clockwork also going for a pretty defensive build with the Belt of Giant Strength. I, I uh, would usually see Clockworks trying to rush a bottle just so they can bottle crow, keep themselves topped off, but he's actually somewhat of a precarious position sitting at 500. Yeah, HP. I think, yeah, exactly. Worried about the killing potential of this duel lane. Another reason why they maybe didn't want to put Lycan in the safe lane is because he can't really zone or kill a clockwork too easily. Just, you pop the cogs, you get out of there, and you don't really, you do more damage to the Lycan than you take yourself. So, the threat's going to come from these two ranged heroes, especially once they hit level 6. You get a level 6 with familiars, with a finger of death. That's when you're looking at IG, possibly picking up Poppy the first Poppy going goal. mid, looking for a hole. Yeah. He's, see, his levels are ridiculous. He's only been working with two camps, and he's almost level 7. And now he's got his, his other big camp back up. So you can see the XP advantage going the way, as well as the gold advantage. 2,000 in Secret's favor. It does feel like IG definitely more geared towards the late game with the Doom pick, the Lycan. But they want to take Roshan early. They also want to get both Lion and Visage involved. Like, when they hit level 6, oh, I feel like they need to mid. Okay, they're going to TP in a third as well as a potentially a fourth. No, the TP cancelled from the Clockwork at top, but it doesn't matter. Puck, Ferrari 430, first blood in the middle lane. Meanwhile, top lane, Clockwork killed the Visage. That was the TPing Chuan. And, well, Zai caught him out. The hookshot was used, the battery assault as well. Chuan just not watching his hero as he thought he had a kill in mid lane. So IG finally making a retaliation. They're tired of Secret being able to control both of those runes, and Shadow Fiend is also playing very aggressively up on Ferrari mid. Finally gets punished for it. 
Okay. For IG, like they're behind on gold, they're getting out farmed here. What's going to be kind of like the the key moves and plays to kind of turn things around as far as this game's going? I think they just have to wait for over aggression. Like if S4 overextends, it's just mostly going to be like coil into doom combos or to coil into Lycan Wolf chasing them down. So just watch Ferrari for most of the movements. It looks like he has opted for treads instead of a uh, or, or actually phase boots instead of an early blue oh, wow. dagger. I guess worried about the last hit battle here. Top lane, they're gonna go into Zai here. They pop the shapeshift and everything, and Zai needs to get out of this one. Has a battery assault blocking him as well, so couldn't get out of the Lycan right clicks. No chance for a cogs. Bottom lane, they're going on June. Could get a kill if they get in the black hole, I feel, but other than that, they're just gonna prioritize the T1 tower. So first tower of the game of the main event at the Dota 2 Asia Championships goes the way of Team Secret at bottom. As the kill score even two apiece, but just looking at the farm right now, the net worth for the top five all on the secret side, even if it's kind of close with Lycan the Doom not trailing far behind, it does present a cause for concern for the Invictus gaming squad. And looking at secrets items too, they're also just itemizing very Radiant early for the push. You see S4 pick up a Ring of Basilius, a very unusual pickup on Queen of Pain, uh, just to help with those Eidolons, and so Puppy can get a... Uh, a little bit of a quick mech. No. It's not that important that Quap has that much farm because Shadow Fiend will be doing most of the heavy lifting as long as he has a good baseline of HP. Yep. Well, the Familiar is now coming into play. Chuan's actually sent them off the top lane. They initially go towards mid lane, possibly looking for another kill in the Shadow Fiend, but now going to venture down towards bottom. So we'll have to keep an eye on what, what he does with those. As for Secret, still no use of the Black Hole just yet. Puppy is going to be rushing the traditional mech on Enigma. And we'll see what his next move is going to be. They need a. They really want mid tower. If you're secret right now, you're like, okay, we need to get this mid tower sometime. But they know they can't just do it straight up. The positioning is terrible. They have to push uphill. They can easily just get chased down uh, by Puck and Lycan in that position, and they're not quite strong enough to fight there yet. Um, and it's also just a difficult position to fight into if you get a hook shot. So I, I would say that they're looking for a gank, try and get that tower, and then control Roshan, and of course fend off IG from uh, getting any of these towers. There is a level 6 online now, so they've got the Finger of Death, which does give them a lot of burst damage killing potential. And we'll see if that's what they're going to look for here, with Chizbug kind of sitting back. He's going to maybe join up with June here. A smoke recently bought coming out on the Courier, so I feel like this is possibly a time to strike if you're IG. Get a kill, try to turn it into a tower like you mentioned, and if they can take the T1 mid, T1 bottom tower, Roshan becomes easy peasy for them. Yeah, I mean, most efforts are going to be in the mid and bottom lane. Top lane is just going to be that safe uh, farmer lane for the supports or for Zai. And going back to the phase, book, phase boot pickup on Puck, it's very unusual, and I think a lot of players are like, why would you ever get phase boots on Puck? He has like so many spells that you need to cast all the time. Um, but his right click is actually pretty decent. Puck has fairly good base damage, and on top of that, uh, with Lycan, how he can actually hit very, very hard. Top lane, they're like looking for a rotation in here from behind. The Lycan will scanning this one out, but... Zai gets back and he's not going to get caught out, at least not initially, by this gank. And he has to play very carefully. 700 HP versus the likes of Quap Ultimate yeah. and Shadow Rays is just devastating if he actually gets caught out. Uh, but they don't really have that many good ways to catch him, I would say. And even and just that movement speed burst can occasionally get you out of like a clockwork battery assault or Some something. Some contest for top rune. Uh, Ferrari's gonna get there, gets the regen as well, may have to orb out of this one. There is a clockwork hookshot available, goes for it, hits the neutral camp though. Zai now gonna get punished! He got baited in by the Ferrari 430 puck. The pianist himself orchestrates a beautiful symphony as he gets himself a kill there. That's gonna be a nice little pick-me-up for IG. That's a, that's a dubious play. By Zai? Yeah. He's had some overall he's been amazing but it's still like a bristleback game or two where secret are really far ahead but he dives really deep sometimes for kill i remember that one moment like diving past the t2 mid tower where he ended up dying and Dyer's it's like great the team's winning he's farmed out of his mind playing incredibly well but sometimes we'll get over aggressive yeah luckily they can afford a death on clockwork but still it's definitely not ideal for them the hook shopping on cooldown is kind of, well, the recipe for this tier 1 top tower to go down. Zai going to TP in, but does not have a hook shot. Can't actually initiate. They're going to solo black hole Lua on the Lycan. Nothing to cancel this at the time being. Lua goes down to start things off. Zai wishes he had that hook shot back. They're going to lose a familiar here as IG back off. Secret rotating in a lot of heroes. And it's the puppy mech giving Secret this kind of boost to their team fight right now that IG, I think, don't want to deal they with. They just left... They just left uh, Lycan to die there. They had Doom, and I guess Lion wasn't that close. I don't know, I don't know if Doom Castrated was enough, but it was great Black Hole by Puppy right there. Yeah. Just killing off the Lycan at this point. Your solo Black Hole, not exactly your dream Black Hole, but early on in the game, seems well worth it. And now Secret, a lot of heroes up top lane, but here comes Puck from the side. No Blink Dagger just yet. He's on 1900 gold. 
A win one team fight here could look to set something up. Is they're going to TP back in the Lycan here? He's got the shapeshift available. Secret Zai does have his hook shot. Will he go in? The Midnight Pulse has been laid down. Zai has been completely exposed with the trees cut down by the Midnight Pulse. And Ferrari has a Dream Call available on the side. It looks like Puppy kind of out of position here. Gets Grave Chilled. Still holding onto the Dream Call. Is Ferrari goes in with a waning rift. Not going to throw the orb just yet. They use the nuke from the Vicious. Now in comes your Dream Call. Catches out four, but they're not committing to this one. Eidolon's kind of zoning IG out. The hook shot now goes flying. Chisbug caught in the cogs. Sonic Wave to follow. They lose the line right off the bat. No counter kills coming IG's way. Juan out of mana. Can't throw off any more solar assumptions. And Secret looking to dive past the tier 1 tower. They want more. They know IG are out of tools to fight right now. Juan going to get double race down. Ferrari could be next. He has got an orb available. And he's looking to kind of turn around and fight. The tier 1 tower goes down. And Secret come out on top with a tier 1 and a 2 for 0 trade. Most of that just seems to come down to Puppy having a mech there. Yeah, it really did. And that was just fantastic positioning by Secret and Zai in particular. He didn't get caught with the other four in the Dream Coil, but he was there to counter initiate. If they go in on him, he can isolate a couple of heroes with a hook shot and a cog to push them back into their team. And I think IG made the right move by not following up after that uh, Puck Coil. And they took the fight really far away from their tower, unfortunately. It was, you know, pretty close to the river and right next to the ramp, which is not where you want to take a fight. Lycan wants to be able to chase people down with his wolves, with uh, his shapeshift, but tower diving like that this early into the game is a recipe for disaster. Secret just have so much damage at this stage of the game. With the Shadow Fiend, Triple Rays, Requiem, Queen of Pain had the Sonic Wave, and Secret knew if they just brought in everyone, they even brought in S4 and the Queen of Pain, it didn't matter that they were committing five heroes, because IG, in the same boat, they also had five heroes up there. So, end result is that neither team was farming the rest of the map, and IG losing a couple heroes in a tower is a big loss to them. They're now going to smoke gank here. They're looking to find a pick off somewhere, knowing that after that, Secret may kind of split up and farm more. There's what? no and Sonic they have Wave, a, no Black Hole. They have the Blink finally on Puck. This is Ooh, really yeah. Oh, they'd love to catch on S4 here. The smoke gets revealed. Blink silence from Ferrari. He gets it off before S4 reacts, and they burst down the Queen of Pain. Nice pick off coming the way of IG. Nice observer ward placement, too, by Chisbug. Oh, yeah. Lock off the Enigma camp. Well, he, he had a place to get vision on the quad. It was nighttime. They, the smoke was popped, but they didn't actually have, have, uh, yep. have vision of what hero was there. And it's also a pretty good Roshan ward, especially with these trees cut down. They have very good vision into if Secret's going to run into it or not. Well, they, the trees just come back up as you say oh, that. Wow. <laughs> so much for that. It, was, it was a good point while it lasted. Um, IG now, I feel like taking Roshan is going to be really important for them at some point. They maybe want to look for a pick off. They have Medallion on Visage. They can do it really quickly. Medallion and uh, Flads up. Yep. So for now, it looks like they're going to push out the mid lane with the puck. Lycan is nearby Roshan, cl clearing out some Ancients for the time being. And uh, they're going to use this ward. They may actually catch up Puppy here on the Enigma. Oh, Puppy comes close. He's got no Vision Doom available. He's hasted, but there goes your haste. The Doom going to take that one off, and Puppy going to be brought down. Queen of Pain actually blinks into this one very aggressively, possibly just looking for the deny here. Lycan Wolves going to help secure the kill. No deny from S4, and... IG now going to find themselves well dealing with a secret Zai clockwork here. He actually just hook shot it into possibly his demise. Like him getting thrown up in the end. Nice heals from Artizi. Throws the Requiem defensively, but they get cancelled by a dream call. Ferrari gets off the waiting rift. He can't get off the, the Requiem. He gets a dying Requiem off, but they've lost three. Only killed out the puck. Kuro not dead just yet. He gets a swap forward. He wants to stun on Chisbug. He's not going to get it. The earned damage won't be enough as well. S4 blinks in, takes down your Lycan. It's a four for two trade, and IG going to be thrilled about that one. Queen and Pain getting a double kill. Slight concern, but overall, IG with the numbers advantage, even if they lost two of their main carries. This great warding set that all up for them. With, without that ward, they wouldn't have gotten the uh, jump on Enigma. They really had to kill him very, very quickly, because as you said, the mech turned around that fight up top, and without uh, Puppy being there in the fight, it was just a disaster for Secret. Well, it does give Queen of Pain an Orchid now, which is especially bothersome for the Puck. Almost forces Puck to go like Yules as your next item. Mm -hmm. Even uh, for Lion, that's pretty darn bad. Yeah, there's just a lot of heroes who are going to struggle to deal with. Doom is not going for a BKB of any sort, sort, so if you catch up the Doom with an Orchid as well, he's going to have the Ag, which makes him a bit tankier, but you can blow him up. Queen of Pain, Ernux, you've got SF Razors, you've got a Clockwork who can hookshot in. There's a lot of damage output that can come out of the secret side. and. Right now, IG fighting in this Radiant Jungle, Secret have no vision. All their vision is on the kind of upper side of the map. They've got vision in the IG Jungle around the top river, but they're playing so blind in their own jungle, oh, and that's where IG's 
focusing their efforts. It's a, like a semi push mid, and IG is not even close to defending this tower. They really need mm. this tower up for Roche. They've been controlling this area very well for the last five minutes, and kind of all their efforts go to waste if this tower falls. It's very low here, and we may even just see how TZ look to walk up the hill and go for this one. Has got a double damage rune on his Shadow Fiend even as well. Black Hole back up, June now on the high ground, has Doom once more. Fairly tanky with the Oak Club and Point Booster, but would love an Acceptor fairly soon here. They're going to get the tower down to Deny Rage, Arteza with the DD rune, they're going to hook shot to the high ground, they catch out! June on the Doom, can he turn and throw his ultimate? Doesn't look like it, the Battery Assault preventing the cast, and I don't think you want to go into this one. Yeah, I think if you're IG, you cut your losses, you back off, and accept that that's not a fight that you want to be taken. Another Observer War to set yeah. up another fight. That was like instantly planted and the hook shot immediately followed. So Secret maintained their gold lead, about a 5,000 gold lead, 3,000 experience lead. And it's the Queen of Pain Shadow Fiend duo with a lot of farm here. No real carry on the IG side getting anything comparable. It's the Quop leading the net worth, but that is not your carry if you're IG. And Puck just needs so many items this game. He needs the Yules to counter the Orchid from the Quop. Uh, he also needs a Scepter, I think, to eventually deal with these BKBs. One coming out from Queen of Pain, one coming out from Shadow Fiend, and he doesn't have that much farm to show for it. Yeah. Well, we'll see what IG's next move is. Still not going for the Roshan. It's a very risky play to make. It looks like they want to try to catch out Arteezy at the top lane. He's got Ogre Club, Yule Scepter. It looks like he does find out the rotation here. There is a Dream Call available. Arteezy, no TP. Going to turn around and you'll throw the Requiem to get some minus physical damage on these heroes. He's done a lot of damage and S4 shows up. Gets one, gets two. The Puck and the line both go down instantly. S4 is going to be a bit careful, but Kuro TP'd in now as well. Gets this done to Chuan. S4 with one last scream of pain. He gets another kill. Actually, Kuro getting the last hit. Three for nothing here. Looking for a fourth. June is in all sorts of trouble here. The Midnight Pulse laying down the damage. He's going to throw, well, a clap just before he dies and four for nil. They thought they had Arteezy and there's still a T1 top. That was just too easy for Secret to rotate in and counter-gate there. I mean, that was a really good play by Shadow Fiend. Uh, I think a lot of players would have defensively yules there and buy time for his team, but knowing that they can't stop the Requiem if he yules the Puck, um, and Face Shift isn't actually long enough, I don't think, to dodge all the damage for the Requiem. Yeah, they just got blown up by Requiem and uh, Sonic Wave. And if he yules himself, he's not going to be able to get his Requiem off. They'll just disable him with Lion, they'll Finger of Death on Waiting Rift, and he's he's dead to rights. And they'll probably get a few kills, but this way they get a few kills without him dying. Yeah, and sure, IG have a lot of magic damage, but it's very there is still right clicks in between the disables, and that's something underrated about the Requiem Missiles is that minus physical damage, which does negate a lot of the IG damage output when they're going for those kills. So. Secret now in a really strong position. S oh, not S4. Arteezy on the Shadow Fiend has a BKB pickup. It's coming, well, it's at least at base. Hasn't come out on the career just yet. And it looks like they're going to be the ones with Roshan control. They take down the mid tower, the bottom tower, and just pick up these key items. And suddenly, IG not equipped to fight. Immediate Wolf scouts out this Roshan, though. So IG know exactly when Roshan started and roughly how long it's going to take to kill. And they're making a move towards the pit. I think they're too slow. It sure looks like it. There's a vision around the pit. They're going to drop down the cogs to slow them down as well. No time to get there. That was just too fast, too easy with the Venge, with the Shadow Fiend. Couldn't cut it. Yeah, very nice crisp movements from Secret. It's, I mean, it's a pretty far transition uh, to like top lane kill to m bottom Roche, and they're just very quick about it, knowing that they can capitalize on it. It's also a much better position for them to fight in around the Roche pit uh, with the Clockwork Cogs. Uh, they're grouping up for Queen of Pain, grouping up for Requiem, grouping up for the Black Hole. So even if IG were there, they'd have to be there like much, much earlier, and just they'd have to s spread out. But fighting up that choke, like this hill is just deadly to fight in. Yeah, and you they had no vision. They were going in without a smoke even. Secret had complete map control. They had the ward by the secret shop, the ward above the Roshan pit. They could see anyone and anything coming in from any direction. Bottom lane, we're going to see Arteezy make a move on Chuan. They miss, well, a scream, a scream of pain, but that's nothing too much to worry about. Zai, meanwhile, has caught out Chizbug with a hook shot in. Chizbug going to turn, even use the finger of death. Not sure if that's going to lead to much. They get the Doom off, though, and Zai will go down. Sonic Wave from the high ground catches out, too, but... Not going to follow that one up as S4 earns off some of the damage that he took, and they'll just take down this tier 2 bottom tower. But a Doom and a Finger of Death used for that Zy Clockwork. Probably an okay trade for Secret. And Lycan's farm is unfortunately a little lackluster as well. He's been forced to come to a lot of fights. His net worth is actually below Enigma's right now. He is sitting at number 4.
they need a big bad lichen to uh, to choke through secrets massive HP pools and massive survivability with BKBs and without a farm lichen they don't have enough physical damage through BKB it just feels like IG's draft hasn't got the kind of momentum they were hoping for. They were hoping to maybe get some early levels and farm on the Lycan, take a Roshan, take towers. They've only taken the single tier one tower up top. Other than that, there's just been no real pressure coming out of IG. They've been constantly playing kind of defensively and reacting to what Secret are doing. Yeah, you can do that if you have like a Medusa or if you have overwhelming late game uh, or if the other team can't take objectives. But the Secret with the Enigma, they can easily Guys, take objectives with the minus come. armor. He's they can easily take tank. Roshan. Uh, so I, I think this sort of draft is uh, better suited for a different type of game, especially with a double jungle. Double jungle is just no pressure out in uh, a lot of the lanes. Shadow Fiend had a quick and easy level 5. They had rune control at the very start. And it's a slower draft from IG, but it, it can't stand up versus it's only 22 minutes of the game. And Secret just running away with it. They didn't get punished for it in the lane stage, but definitely just their heroes in general weren't ready to fight. Like Enigma got the mech, because Secret also played it slow in the lane stage, but once they grouped up, they just had a far superior five man. Like Enigma with a black hole with a mech, they had Queen of Pain Sonic Wave. Just here is actually ready to fight. The Doom, he can Doom one target, but even just getting a Doom off is challenging. You get Orchided, you get stunned up. If he gets initiated on, it's all sorts of trouble. They have got a Doom with an Acceptor now, though, and that's going to make their life a bit easier in these fights. Whoever gets Doomed should, in theory, go down here. I don't actually think the Accept the damage is his problem. He needs a better tool of initiation. He can't just walk by the clockwork or the clock. So getting, like, a, a Blink Dagger, you think? Mm -hmm. Oh, bottom Radiant's T1 tower gonna get denied by Zai, so IG. Denied. Nothing can really go their way at this point here. Puppy may get caught out here. June smoked up, no vision just yet. Puppy, oh, he's so close. They finally spot each other out here, but without a blink dagger and Puppy knowing he's there, I think this is cue for IG to retreat and just try and not get hook shotted here. Familiars are there. You gotta try and block the hook with those familiars. As Secret decide they're not gonna look to try and make a move off of this. Secret, so they've got this Aegis, they're not really using it for too much right now. Do you feel like that's like they should be trying to push high ground or is their lineup just happy and content to farm? As long as they still have map control, it's okay. And they have map control with it right now. Just moving it around as a pack so that IG can't come into their side of the forest. They don't need to uh, play too aggressively unless they see a good hook shot. Uh, th they want IG to come to them and this way they'll have vision of the doom because they can't let Puppy get doomed. Yeah. And especially with no mobility item, he can just BKB anything else uh, or just BKB Black Hole the Doom if he even runs up. The secret shot, Ferrari gonna reveal this. He doesn't get hit by the hook, but the Orchid catches him. The Black Hole, oh no, gets dealt with and Ferrari will still go down, but that was a... I'm not sure if he cancelled that himself or it looks like he just cancelled himself because he wanted to make sure the Yules wasn't used, but Puppy, bit of a blunder, but it doesn't matter. They get the kill on the puck, they're looking to go high ground. They've still got the Aegis and IG. Push comes to shove. How are they defending without this puck anyways? 25 seconds left on Aegis. Oh, and June gets jumped now as well. The Sonic Wave goes through, even catches Chizbug in the back. Arteezy on the front lines. Has to be a bit cautious because of the Aegis timing you just mentioned, but it looks like Secret with Puck and Doom dead, neither having a buyback here. This is just going to be a lane of racks. This game, 24 minutes in, it's Secret pressuring the base, pushing down towers and just with a huge lead over IG who just can't put any pressure of their own out on the map. One lane down and Secret just going to back off for the time being. Easy peasy. Not much to it, it seems, as they now accumulate a 13,000 gold lead. IG running out of options here. Yeah, they really needed to get a lot of damage done before the trifecta of BKBs came out. And now that it's up, what what is Lion going to do? What is Puck going to do? And they, they just don't have enough items at this point. Yeah. Not enough lockdown. And Arteezy just tanks himself up even further with the Scotty. I guess concerned that if he gets doomed or something, there is physical damage. He can man-fight the Lycan a lot better. Not to mention, yeah, just having extra raw HP to survive a doom is going to help him out and go a long way here. Well, here comes a last-ditch effort smoke from IG. This is just... If this fails, I feel like it's just GG. There was a high ground observer. I'm not sure if that one scouted out the smoke game because IG now maneuver through the jungle here. Secret, Radiant they got a tower here. They, they can just use this tower for cover. They're smoked up themselves and Arteezy has a BKB, has a Skydy. They're going to 
Look to put down a ward behind the T1, but they have not spotted anyone out just yet. Secret, maintaining good positioning here. With three heroes with BKB, it's going to be so hard to get a good initiation off here if you're IG. Especially since it's daytime. If it's daytime, you can just see them in the popular BKB. And they don't have a good way to stop the BKBs. The only blink that they have is on Ferrari. They really needed a blink dagger on Lion uh, and hopefully get sort of uh, jump on them. But <laughs> Both teams. I think Secret thought they were going to find a pickoff on the high ground of the mid lane. Oh, he's going to TP into the smoke. Oh! <laughs> Surprise! June goes down at the mid lane. Secret were just waiting, smoked up, and... Well, without a buyback, no Aghanim's doomed to deal with. Secret are feeling like, hey, they've got this. IG were just meandering through the Radiant jungle and... Couldn't find anything, and well, Secret were waiting for them, back of their own base. Nice crisp play from Secret. They they don't split up very often, too. Knowing that IG, the only way they can get back in is by, you know, getting a couple of pickoffs, and then Secret maybe dying one by one. But as a five-man pack, they are way too strong. Well, Ferrari are going to go and just blink silence and uh, will, will orb himself out here. The Sonic Wave goes through. They bring down the Lion and Arteezy with a BKB as well as S4 on the front lines. They just right-click Lua away. No chance for IG to defend, and this is looking like it's in the back for Game 1. Zai still holding onto that hook shot, and the Familiar is just getting decimated by the physical damage output of Team Secret. As bo both top racks go down, and this is looking like it's all over. Two lanes. An IG with no real recovery mechanic whatsoever. Not to mention just a far inferior late game lineup. June gonna get stunned up in the, as well as Orchid. He's got no BKB still. We'll get away from this one with the help of the Yules here. May look to turn and doom. Zai is not really a good target, after, especially after he's used the hook shot. Being chain stunned up here. All the familiars come in. The orb as well as the waning rift. Gonna get. Oh, he walked back into it after the swap. That wasn't the play to make, but it's not a play that's really gonna matter too much. Ferrari gonna TP himself out from the cliff as Secret disperse. Uh, TZ TPs himself home, but two lanes of racks, you lose a clockwork. Secret don't care. And looking at the draft, it seems like Secret has been getting these sort of heroes like all the time. And some of the heroes are interchangeable, I would say. Like Enigma, interchangeable with Chen. Um, but, I mean, e even though I thought IG's bans were pretty good, it seems like Secret still got the line that they wanted damage. at the end of the day. It feels like there's this, yeah, it's so hard because you ban out one thing, they picked up their interchangeable hero. And it's always, I, I feel like one of the really cool things about them is how kind of Kuro and Puppy ex like trade off a bit. When Puppy's playing the farming jungler like the Enigma, Kuro plays like the more hard support space creator. He was zoning, looking to just be that kind of much more kind of hard support. Other times it's Puppy on his Enchantress or his Chen kind of ganking and putting pressure on early while Kuro gets more farm. So it's very much a case of one of them is pressuring while the other's getting their farm and Secret never just fall behind in net worth. Even when they're not finding kills, there's been number of numerous games where I feel like they've been behind on kills but still well ahead on overall net worth. This game though, ahead on kills, ahead on net worth, 20,000 gold in their advantage and nothing really IG can do at this point. S4 even picks up a Lincoln Sphere, so one more tool to help deal with the Doom as well. They're trying to go late game. June picked up a Midas. On the on the Doom, yeah. He had this before the Acceptor. Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay. He's, he's had this uh, from the get-go, but... Oh, he gets hooked at bottom lane, <laughs> trying to TP out. He's going to turn and zoom Doom Zai here, but not before going down himself. It looks like it. The swap out. Zai going to get taken out by the Puck. June now orchid it up, and Queen of Pain going to get one. Possibly a second if he can find Ferrari. Can he get the blink out? He's got a Yules as well. Sonic Wave doesn't come right away. The right clicks are there. The Yules. How many points in the phase shift? Not enough. It was max level phase shift, but his blink just couldn't come up in time. And meanwhile, mid lane, it's the Shadow Fiend picking off the lion there. Arteezy using that Yules into Requiem of Souls combo. Secret just making this look too easy. I think maybe they have to get rid of the Shadow Fiend next game or get it themselves. <laughs> he's, he's such a burden to deal with in the mid lane, I feel like. There's very few 1v1ers that can deal with him, especially with Bottle Crow. And he just wins most matchups past five. Yep. Very, very difficult mid, especially with the way Secret plays, too. There's always someone around to uh, try and counter gank or put pressure on his lane. Well, with that, we'll force a buyback out on the puck. That's going to kill any of his dreams of farming up an Aghanim Scepter this game, which would have been a nice tool to have against the the BKBs on the team side. The problem side. is Luo can't even go in. He, he, yeah. he ults and he has to run away from a, a Queen of Pain, like let alone Shadow Fiend and Midnight Pulse and all these other things that he has to deal with. And his Necrobook does nothing, it feels like. He, secret of BKB, Arteezy just farms the Necrobook, Queen of Pain can just Sonic Wave them. It's not really like the Necrobooks are doing much in the fights at all. And this is without like a black hole in any of these fights too. If God forbid a black hole on two or three people yeah. on IG. Well, Arteezy has gone for a 
30 minute Sanjin Yasha. Why not? <laughs> I remember uh, there was a stat with like Sanjin Yasha had like a, a ridiculously high win rate percentage. This is why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> clowning, clowning with like game items here. It feels like he could be picking up anything. It's like the the animal courier had like a 10% win rate because if you end the game with an animal courier in your inventory, obviously you've done something wrong. <laughs> so I went through a phase where at the end of the game, I, before we killed their throne, I'd always buy an animal courier to try and improve the win rate of animal couriers <laughs> as an <laughs> item, but I didn't see much change. One man could not make a difference. If everyone tries, though. Yeah. Remember, yeah. remember the animal couriers. To all our viewers out there, if you're winning your game, buy an animal courier in your inventory. Don't summon it, just buy it and have it sit there. <laughs> Secret now, looking like they can seal this one. Puppy gets the swap into a, well, a solar black hole onto your puck here. They're going to see Kuro take a finger of death here, but he gets healed back up, and Secret are just so tanky right now. No one taking any damage. Ultron going to be next life. Sonic Wave for good measure. Even clears out the Necrobooks, and Luo gets back to the Phantom, but it's GG. Game one in the bag of this best of three series. IG had a draft prepared, seemed to be happy to give away the Shadow Fiend, but it it wasn't enough. Like, the draft just didn't really come together, it feels like. The pressure came out too late. They were reliant on Blink Puck, but by then Mech ha uh, Enigma had Mech, it was like a, you know, 12, 13 minutes before they were able to put any pressure on towers. Well yeah. played, Secret. Yeah, Secret, they didn't even have to do anything different from what